Hello and welcome to another Beyond 20 Surewell how-to video. My name is Mark and today I'm going to be talking about some of the new features available to you in charts uh, in version 6 for dashboards. Uh, as you can see here I actually have a dashboard, a default dashboard open on my screen and you will notice that uh, one of the big things that you can do now is you can stack bar charts. We used to only have the ability to have uh, multiple series uh, next to one another, but now as you can see you can actually stack those bar charts together. So how do we get there? Well, obviously we need to edit the dashboard and of course we can do that directly right here in the blue pill simply by editing the global IT dashboard. That'll bring up our dashboard editor. Once that's up we'll go over to the widget that we want to edit and that will be this chart here. Uh, right click and go to the widget properties. Uh, what you'll see here is again this is this is actually a single series chart but uh, since we have multiple value types showing in that uh, one series we get a new option here. Uh, it's called combine mode and the combine mode can be the old school which is clustered which means we have each grouped side by side uh, for each uh, each value of X the Y's will be grouped side by side stacked, which is what you saw on that uh, front page, and then stacked 100, which gives you basically a, a solid line across the top with each, uh, each value stacked up to equal 100%, essentially, so you're really kind of doing that. Uh, we can also actually determine how many stack groups to use, and that can be uh, utilized for multiple series. So pretty straightforward stuff here, but a uh, very nice new feature. I believe, uh, I know of at least one customer of ours that's going to be very happy to be able to start stacking uh, their columns and bars. So uh, that's one of the new graph pieces for, uh, for the new version 6 dashboards. The other one actually has to do with a new chart type altogether, and you see it here. Uh, it's called the donut chart. Uh, I will probably be using this to replace all pie charts because I actually do prefer the look of a donut chart. Uh, the other thing as you'll see here is the way that the values are actually being displayed is a little bit different as well. So what we can do with this if we go into its properties, again this is a donut chart here, uh, is how we can display the values uh, and where the labels will actually show up. As you can see here, they're uh, listed as being outside, so they are you know, fairly close to the donut, but they have a little line sort of showing which slice of the donut they actually belong to. The other one that's new is called Outside Near. Uh, why they named it this, I'm not entirely sure, but what this does is it actually builds uh, equal columns on either side of the, da of the donut so they're actually lined up left and right. We still have the little lines showing which slice they point to, but this gives you kind of a clean look uh, in, in purely vertical columns of numbers. And then of course the more original inside, they have cleaned that up a little bit. Uh, they used to be a little bit, in the pie charts, they used to be a little sort of not very well aligned, but they've now aligned them all to the edge, but on the inside of the donut rather than on the outside. So these are two new items uh, in version 6 and I know that they are going to be very useful to a lot of our customers. I do encourage you to uh, dig around and take a look at what's available and of course if you have any questions please feel free to visit our website at www.beyond20.com and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel Beyond 20 LLC. Thank you very much.